In a 10 on your side follow up, it's a public beach on private land. That's the ruling on Chicks Beach. The case involves a beach that sits on private property and a street that's underwater. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has more on the mixed reaction from property owners. Chris? Yeah, Stephanie, first of all, no one is losing any land as a result of this case. The city made its case by showing public use and city maintenance on Chicks Beach for generations. Some residents told us they're happy about that, but for others, the judge's ruling is a real head scratcher. The judge Thomas Padrick's ruling that Chicks Beach is a public beach is confusing to Paul Demeck. He bought a private lot on the beach in 2001. And now it's public. Did you allow me to buy public property? And I pay taxes. The ruling creates a path forward for rebuilding a beach that badly needs it. Through continued erosion, this has become our, mm -hmm. our, our most critically eroded beach, yes. City Council will have to find the funding, and it's unlikely the rebuild could begin until the second half of next year. We'd have to fund a project, have to design a project, have to get permits for a project, so there's still some set steps to do that, but we, we know how badly they need sand up there. And, and that's what some other residents are saying, too. We have tried to get sand replenishment for 20, 30 years, and it's just fantastic for us. Uh, with the, our homes will be safe. We'll have a, a wonderful beach to enjoy. And that's going to save the dunes, increase the beach, save the properties, and help maybe minimize any damage from any future storms. But Demek is concerned. A rebuilt beach will bring more people, more cars, and more knocks on his door. Where do they go to the bathroom? We've had people knock on the door and say, i got to go to the bathroom. Do you think, if, if since the judge ruled that it, for all intents and purposes it's a public beach, yeah. do you think the city should go take it a step further and, and put in public restrooms? They'd have to. Now, the Public Works Department estimates the sand replenishment will run about $4 million, and with those several steps you heard about to be completed first, it's unlikely we'll see new sand coming to Chicks Beach for at least a year. In the newsroom, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.